think that Atlanta is a is surprising. So how I describe my job with Tiny Doors ATL is, is at this point I go like this, I'm kind of a keeper of the magic. My job is to kind of preserve and gently guide this project that Atlanta cares about and that I care about. So close your eyes and imagine what's behind the door. Now, if you open the door, what could I put there that's better than what you're imagining? There's power in your imagination as opposed to the artist giving everything away. Because I don't, I don't need to tell you what's behind it. You can tell me what's behind it. Have you ever done something that when you're doing it, you feel like you're using all the best parts of your brain? That's how I feel when I'm working on an installation for a new neighborhood in Atlanta. I feel like the best parts of my brain are firing and, I'm, and it's, it hurts. You know, don't let them tell you there's only one way to be an artist because there are so, so many ways. I've always been a big fan of the pursuit. I've always been a big fan, not of the, of the end, of the means to the end, but of the pursuit to that goal. Honestly, I think my theory behind why the doors have had an impact and why they've lasted is that they're yours. They're not my doors. They're not about me. They're about Atlanta. It's a love note to Atlanta, and it's about how we can interact with each other. And I really believe that if I had just made a bunch of pink sparkly doors and stuck them wherever I wanted, no one would have cared at all. <laughs>